Hi guys, it's Anne from Mummy Ads 2. Today we have a subscription box. It is a beauty and makeup subscription box from Lumibox. Lumibox comes in two types. You can either get the basic box for $49, which I think you get five pieces, um, and you can get the premium box, which I get every month, which you receive six to seven pieces. With the premium box, you can choose whether you want just a makeup box, a skincare box, or a mix of both. I generally always go a mix of both because I like to try new items. Lemmy Box tends to bring in new items for you to try. They're more higher quality items and not so much the drugstore items. So we're going to take a look at what we have in the November box and we will try them out and do some swatches if there's anything to swatch. So the box comes like this and it's generally very prettily packaged. You have your thank you card, which has all their details, which has all their details on here. Then you have the items and how much they cost. The November theme is red carpet month, so that should be quite nice. Now, with the boxes, you do get to pick one item, so there's a choice item, so you choose between whatever's being offered, and generally, if you're quick enough, you get the piece that you choose. So our first item in our box is the Amoris Beauty Restores and Rejuvenates Hair Mask. And it says, this retails for $59.99. Holy hell. It does. It unlocks your hair, inner shine, and stop hiding behind dull, dry, and lifeless locks. Packed full of all the good stuff. We're talking argan oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, shea butter, coconut butter, or cocoa butter, I should say. And even baobab seed. So hair mask, let's have a look. And let's have a smell. Oh, this is cute. Look at the inside of the box. Nice packaging. It actually smells beautiful. First item. The second item was our choice item for the month, and it is the Lipstick and Liner Duo from Bella Pierre. You could choose the red or the nude in this, in this set. And this one retails for $35. It says that it's a pigmented matte lipstick and coordinating lip liner. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have the bullet lipstick and this is in the shade Fire Red. Oh, that is lovely. And we'll do a swatch. And the lip liner, oh, that feels quite nice too. It feels, the lip liner feels like it's going to be more the formula that I like. The lip liner feels like it's not going to be too creamy. So that way it's going to actually stay put where I want it to. Whereas it's not like the old school lip liners that literally rip and tear your lips to shreds as you're trying to put that on. So our next item in our Lumi box is, I think these are a set of two kind of thing. So we have the Galactic Beauty Star Base. The packaging is actually quite lovely in this. And it is supposed to be like a glitter glue star, uh, a base for your glitter and stuff. It actually, so this is it here. If it wants to focus. And it's in the black base there. It retails, so this one retails for $23. That, that is crazy. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> then we have the Eye Sparkle, so the Galactic Eye Spa Sparkle, and it retails for 22 as well. So get your Eye Sparkle and Shine On. These fine sparkles will instantly amp up your eye makeup. Our next item is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Blush Palette, which looks like this. And, whoops, looks like we've got four shades in there. Let's do some swatches. They're quite light, those colours. They may be buildable. We'll see how that turns out. This retails for $35. And it's supposed to be 
a highly pigmented, super blendable blush palette featuring a variety of pink and neutral shades. It's definitely quite neutral palette, this one. Hopefully it does build up because as I swatched that then, it, it didn't show up very well. So we'll see how it actually performs on the skin. The next item is a 4-in-1 Correcting Primer from Purr. I actually did my... I've actually done my base today, so... I didn't realize we were getting a primer in this, so I'll have to try this one out a little bit later. Although, it's just got a little... Let's have a look and see. It says quite a thin... It's quite a thin liquid, that one, and a little bit... Oh, look, a little bit goes a long way. So this one... So it's a 4-in-1 correcting primer, Energize and Rescue. Your skin with Per 4-in-1 Energize and Rescue. The probiotic powered skincare infused formula designed to help hydrate and improve the look of dull, tired skin and it retails for $49.95. I will have all these linked down below if you're interested in these. It does feel a little bit tacky on the skin, so that should actually be... I'm going to try this next time. This looks like it's going to be really, really nice. We'll use that in our next haul. <laughs> Final item, and I do have one extra item in here because... Last month, I actually didn't receive one of my items, but I got straight onto Lumi Box, and Lumi Box were fantastic. They got straight onto it, and they've actually put in a replacement item for me this month. No issues whatsoever. They were so polite, and it was it was so quick. So our last item for this month is a 111 skin mask, rose gold brighten facial mask treatment. This retails for thirty five dollars. It's supposed to, apparently it's a supermodel skin favourite. The mask has received five star glowing reviews worldwide for its targeted nourishing formula, promoting the skin's own natural restorative processes. Infused with brightening agents such as 24 karat gold, rosa, damascus, extract and silk amino acids that work to smooth the appearance of an uneven complexion. This decadent facial mask leaves an incandescent finish, perfect pre-event brightening and hydrating. Guys, let me know if you've used this because I feel like $35 for a face mask is extremely <laughs> expensive. Is this going to take 10 years off my life? I hope so. For that price, it damn well better. <laughs> okay, so our final item that we received, and as I said, this, oh, this was the replacement item for me from Lumi, Lumi Box. It's called the Center Stage Pinky Rose Cosmetics. It looks like this in the packaging. It's got the little box. And, oops, it is. Let's take that plastic off so we can see. It's quite a nice neutral palette. And it's got some really nice shades in there. It has got the mirror. This palette's actually really, really cute. We might do a few swatches and then we will get straight into trying these products out. So we might have a look at Public, Glam, Infinite, oh that's a bit scratchy gold but it's pretty. And we'll have a look at Basic. We might also go in with Star. These are these are lovely. They're swatched really, really pretty. You can see the shimmer in those, the metallics, the glitter. This one doesn't have a price on it, guys, so I will find this online somewhere and I'll link that down below as well. But Pinky Rose Cosmetics, center stage. This is a beautiful little palette. Hey okay, guys, so I've already got my base on. I did that before I started filming because generally you, you don't get this sort of stuff. However, what I have used today, and these are some of my favorite items for, uh, base wise. So I've used the Estee Lauder Double Wear as my foundation, and this is in 2C3 in Fresco. I really, really enjoy this. This is my go-to. It's not overly cheap, it's about $60, but for a foundation, it's, it, I just like the way it sits on my skin. I then went in with the Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in 19. And 
and then I received this one this is my contouring my contouring stick and I did receive this in, in another Lumi box a previous month and I love this I use this every single day and I'm going to probably cry when I run out this is the Laritzi Cosmetics Aloha bronzing stick or contouring stick and as you can see it is it is well loved so that's pretty much all I've done today I have um, obviously done my brows too just a quick basic one I actually have to go into town today so this is all got to come off after I finish going in to get that second jab so let's get into trying out this makeup Hey guys, so I've just zoomed you in so you can actually see the products. You can see my found, my base is already done, as I said. I've I finished that earlier. I do have just a little bit of gloss on. I will wipe that off once we once we come in with that um, lip. But we might try out the Belle Pierre Cosmetic Pro Blush Quad Palette and have a look. The pan sizes are quite small. Unless you're going to use, unless you're going to use a really small brush, it's going to be difficult to really try and concentrate just on one of those colours there. And I'm just going to concentrate. I'll try and get into these two middle shades, I think, and see how we build that up. Okay. Let's go in a little bit more. Try and see how buildable it is. It has got it has got a little bit of a scent to it, but it's nothing over strong and I can't really pinpoint what it's smelling like to be honest. Okay. That's cute. Let's go in to the other one. It does seem to be quite buildable. It is one of those blushes that start off quite subtle and then you can build it up and be slap bang in your face. Not these colors that I'm using anyway, but I actually like that because you're not having to put it on there and then try to really blend it out because you've overestimated how much pig pigment is actually in one of these products. But this is really, really nice. The formula is beautiful on the skin actually and I don't mind that color it's it's a really natural it's a really natural glow from within kind of feel I think I, I like this this is cute I obviously these products they're first impressions so I obviously do need to make sure that I am using these a little bit more and then at the end of the month I'll come back and actually do a favorites and fails from the items that I've received because I do do quite a lot of unboxings when it comes to makeup and cosmetics okay so we're going to go in with the palette I'm not really sure what kind of look I want I'm not going to go in with anything too dramatic but I do want to try and use as many colors as I can okay so I'm going to go into my crease with the shade celebrity and I'm just going to focus that right on the crease very lightly. I'm then going to come in with Star. And try to bring that crease in a little bit more. It's more of a mustardy color. Okay, pigment I can see pretty well on this color. So I'm pretty much just laying the color down first and then I will blend it out a little bit more the way that I want it. Go in with a fluffy brush. Okay, so that color laid on the eyes pretty well and as I'm blending out it's not it's not disappearing so some colors some palettes as you blend in the color the pigment can be right in your face when you're putting it on but then as soon as you blend it out it is nowhere in sight this color is actually really pretty it is staying on it is letting me blend it quite nicely it will be interesting to see how those other colors build on top 
of that mustard. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come in with this one here, which is called Flash, and we're going to bring that just out on the outer corner and just up a little bit of my crease. Oh, well, that's pretty. That's a nice color, that one. I'm just going to put that down first and then try and blend it where I want it. Just to deepen that up a little bit. The formula is really nice of these. They blend super easy into each other and the color doesn't seem to be blending away too much either. I then want to deepen that up a little bit more. So we are going to go in with, I think, Fame, which is this one here. And just a little bit darker on this outer and just a little bit further down onto that lid a little bit. But really specific where I'm putting this color. So I don't want it to go where I don't want it. And then I'm going to get a smaller blending brush and just scratch it. I'm tossing up between Glam and Floodlight, which are these two colors here. I think we might go in with Floodlight just over this side and then we can lighten that up a little bit. Just add all that. That is super pretty. The metallic on that is to die for. Really, really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna move it closer so you can see how we're going at the moment. You can see that that metallic is, it's gorgeous. It is, it's doing what it should do and it is giving me golden dreams. Okay, so I do want to go in now with that glam color. And I want to bring that one in the middle. Let's have a look. I think that those two shades are actually quite similar. The Glam is a little bit lighter, so it's sort of giving that little bit of a light effect to the eye. And I'm just trying to pack that on. I might actually wet my brush and see how this color applies. So, on the inner third, we're going to go in with Boom, which is this lighter color. We're going to put that here. I 
anyways, I'm going to go finish the eyes and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I've just come back. I'm not going to put lashes on today so that way we can see the eye look a little bit better. We're going to try out our last product. Well, I know that we do have this glitter and stuff, but I might try that out another time. We'll try out our lip products and then we will finish the look. So let's try out our lip pencil. That's actually really nice. It's quite, it is quite creamy on the lips, but it's, it has that waxiness that stays put. Where you're putting it is where it's going to stay by the feels of this. The color of that is really nice too. It is vibrant. Okay, so that's the lip pencil on. It's quite nice, comfortable on the lips. Let's see how lipstick plays out. Beautiful, let's have a look. Oh, that has a really, has vanilla smell to it. I think it's vanilla. That red is vibrant. If you want a vibrant lip, this is the one for you. This is quite comfortable on lips. You can feel that it's matte. You can feel that it's a little bit thicker on the lips, a bit heavier on the lips, but it's not too bad. It's pretty comfortable. I'm just going to go off for a minute, finish off my makeup, put on a bit of highlighter, that kind of thing, and I'll be back and to give you my final thoughts on these products and our Lumi box for this month. Hey guys, so that was all the products in our Lumi box for the month of November. I think it's pretty fitting, the theme, which was red carpet. Um, the lipsticks, they're beautiful. It's a little bit heavy on my lips. It's probably not really something that I would run to, but it is really nice still. I do... I do really like the the palettes. Everything that came in this box is really high quality, beautiful items. I think that the Lumi box was definitely worth the $99 this month. There's definitely enough products here to add well and truly up over that and gives me a really good range of items to try. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which one you would like to try or which if you actually ordered this box what color did you go in regards to that lip kit hey guys so i'll leave all the links down below and a link to the Limmy box if you want to go have a look at that subscription box it is pretty great in my opinion this month i think is definitely worth it if you enjoy this video if you want to see more Limmy box unboxings let me know down below please subscribe like the video and have a beautiful beautiful day much love. Bye.